was watching football over the weekend, and you know, it, I'm gonna tick some people off here, but it just annoys me, the, the blood drive ads, those precious little blood drive ads, you know, where they're like, I gave blood. What have you done for society? I gave blood, I'm special, I gave blood. You're annoying, is what it is. <laughs> And then what's even worse is the organ donor people because they get like, aren't you contributing? Aren't you just doing your part for society? And you're sort of going, dude, you haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> when you give up your lungs now so that Timmy, th Timmy can breathe, I'll be impressed, right? I mean, I give sperm, no one gives a crap. Seriously. It's like, it's like the Korean War of donor banks. There's no wall, there's no monuments. We don't get a 10K run, we get nothing. Nothing. And let's be honest, I'm a man of a certain age, okay? I can't go seven or eight times a day like I used to. Two or three times now and I still need the cookies and the juice. Sad. I just celebrated my 51th birthday. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, when I turned 30, nobody cared. 50, it's like, oh, you're halfway there. Now you're officially middle age, which is great, right? But it's really, it's, it's, it's pathetic because now I'm officially in my 50s. But people, when I, was, when I was about to turn 40, people love to tell me stuff like, oh, well, you know, 40's the new 30, right? And when I was about to turn 50, oh, you know, 50's the new 40. You know, following that logic, what, what's, what's, what's 90 then, the new 80? Right? It's like, well, as soon as I get out of these adult diapers and my stool stiffens, I can go clubbing again. Like, for real? We're so afraid of dying, it's pathetic, right? And they always say, something, age is just a number. You're only as good as you feel age is just a number. That's relatively true, unless that number's anything over 35, and then it's just an embarrassment. Because <laughs> let's face it, if you're still trolling clubs called tickles, you know, you may need a class or two in like self-help, right? But you know, it's just bizarre. I had a friend of mine a few years back, he wanted to go to a rave, okay? 47, he's 47. I, I'm a dude, a rave, I don't want, come on. <laughs> Tested the limits, I already done that. I don't want to go to a rave. Come on, man, you're acting old, man. You can be dead before your time, man. Yes, and he talks like that, and he still goes to bars called Tickles. <laughs> right? So I'm like, why, 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 why? Why am I gonna go to a rave at this age? What am I gonna do? Talk up some phenomenal 19-year-old Barbie doll goddess in a silver bikini with Hell Kitty platforms and a panda bear backpack with a pacifier. <laughs> with a head full of X, I'm sorry, MDMA, right? <laughs> telling me that the two-party system is the way to go, and I believe her. The only reason for a guy my age to be hitting raves is to recruit hot chicks for my Middle East peace program, okay? <laughs> Guys, that's it for me. I'm out of time.